Hello everyone, this is Varun Dubey. I'm going to explain you how to set up a login page uh, with the Buddy X. First of all, uh, inside the theme option, um, I have activated the Buddy X theme. And um, we have our in-house plugin Webform Essential, which has a login template. I'm going to use them to create a branded login page, which, which can be used uh, for the login option, what we have on the Buddy X theme. Okay, first of all, I'm going to create a new login page. It is the Elementor and including a title there. First of all, making it as a login page. And as a default page layout, I'm going to set as a Elementor full width to avoid any sidebar options. And uh, after this one, you can view that uh, there's a Webcom Designs logo option. And when you click on that one, it have a new section here. It will load the data from our server. Uh, login section. And inside the login, you have a couple of design here. Uh, you can use any of them, except for the rain one, which are dedicated for the rain theme. And right now I'm going to pick this one. And uh, this is the default uh, login widget what we are offering inside the Buddy X uh, web commission chain. And uh, what you can do here, you can also set the design and uh, also uh, redirect after login. Like uh, by default on the Buddy Press website, you can redirect them to the member slash me that will lead them to their profile page after someone is trying to log in. Update. So it will display like this one. For the logout user, it will display like uh, with login boxes and for the login, it will display you are al already logged in. And you can also give the link of the register and the lost password link from there. Hopefully that's uh, very easy how to set up the page. And next thing I'm going to map this page inside our setting. So it will lead to the login page by default. Okay, I'm coming back to the page. Now going to the customizer setting. Inside the customizer setting, we have a page mapping option inside the general page mapping and you can map uh, the default login page here. Login. So when uh, you are going to create a menu, it is a press install. That's why it doesn't have any menu by default. Primary menu. I'm going to map it to the primary and item. Okay, publish. Okay, for the front end view, now we have uh, this UI and I'm going to log out. So on the logout, you have a login page and when you someone is clicking on the login, that they will lead to that page. So in that way, you can create your branded login pages and you can also bypass the default WordPress login using this approach. Hopefully you have uh, got the concept and if you have still any questions, contact us. Thank you.